I will show you how to add a new option from the autocomplete drop down menu in React JS using Material UI autocomplete component. Let's create a React app using the command npx create React app. I am not going to get into the basic details. Once that finishes installing, move to the newly created directory and start your preferred code editor. I am using Visual Studio. Let's just quickly install the Material UI library as we are using Material UI. Everything we need is installed. Let's just quickly test the setup. And here you can see the default React app. Let's edit the app.js file to suit our needs. As we don't need much of the UI. We will show the autocomplete pop-up using a button. For now, I will remove the logo and the link. Let's take a quick look at how it looks now. Let's leave it like this for now. Let's create our autocomplete drop down in a new file. I prefer making it as a component, so let us create a directory named component. And under it, create a new file and name it anything you want. I will call it as select popup.js. Let's quickly do the imports. Since we will be using components from Material UI, we must also import those. I will customize the style of the paper component and some other components. As of version 5, the material UIs make CSS is not available anymore. We need to use the styled component to style our components as per our needs. I will quickly style the paper and popper components as per my need. I will also style the autocomplete component. Let's create the primary component that will house all the changes and functionality of our custom autocomplete. The popper component holding the autocomplete needs an anchor element to hook itself, so let us create a state variable to store the anchor element. And then, we need two variables to hold the current value and the pending value. 
The current value is the value already selected and the pending value is the value chosen newly. When the autocomplete closes, the pending value becomes the current value. We will use these variables to show the correct selected value when the autocomplete drop down is opened. Since we want to show a button at the bottom of the autocomplete drop down, which when clicked will allow us to add a new option. To do so, we have to create a custom paper component where we will add the button at the bottom and pass all the props to this component as it is. And then, this custom paper component is passed as a paper component to the autocomplete component. To add the new option when the button is clicked, we have to define the logic on the click handler, we can pass the click handler function from the parent component. To do so, whenever the button is clicked, we will check if a handler function is passed, if passed, then call the function, else, do nothing. Now let's write the final return statement. We will be using grid component as our container. We will create a button to trigger the autocomplete drop down and show the selected value and the default text. To show the autocomplete drop down, we will add an onclick event handler for this button. The event handler will check if the current value is empty, if not, then set it as a pending value. And set the anchor element to the current target. We will check if the pending value is empty for the button label. If not, then show the selected value, else, show the default value. Next, I will add the styled popper component to hold the autocomplete drop down, and this popper will be shown when the above button is clicked. The popper needs a unique ID and open and anchor element props to work correctly. The open prop is used to show or hide the popper. Placement is used to position the popper to the attached element. Now let's define autocomplete. Autocomplete needs the open prop to show the component, the value is the pending value. We need to create an event handler for the onclose event of the autocomplete component. In the close event handler, the pending value will be set as the current value, and the anchor element will be set to null. We must pass our custom paper component to the paper component prop of the autocomplete. We need to pass the change handler to the onChange prop. In this onChange event handler, we will set the selected value as a pending value and check if callback function is passed. Call the callback function with the new value if a callback function is passed. Render option prop is used to define how the options are rendered. We will show a checkmark before the selected option label.
Options prop is used to set the options for the autocomplete. Render input prop is used to set the input field of the autocomplete. We will pass the styled input base we defined earlier. Our autocomplete component is ready. Let us save it and open the app JS file to use this component. I am going to use the autocomplete component here. And we need to pass the button text for the trigger button, which will trigger the autocomplete pop up. Options prop is used to pass the options for the autocomplete. Add button prop is set to true to show the add button. Add button text prop is used to set the label for the add button. The data field prop is used to set the field name from the options whose value will be used to show as an option label. It is all done. Let's save it and run. There are some errors. Let's see what those are. Oh, I didn't install the material icons. I need to install the material icons. Let us recompile it and see. Some more errors styled needs to be imported from material styles. And we need to import the input base from the material input base. Let us recompile it and see. You can see the button on clicking on it shows the autocomplete with the add new button. We will implement the add new button functionality in the next part.